I do. This is a big secret. I guess I haven't probably talked about this too much on my channel. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. So I thought for today's video we'd do things a little bit differently. It's currently 5.30 in the morning and I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough of what my day looks like. The one thing is I'm not really sure what I'm gonna name this video yet. Day in the life of a product designer, day in the life of a social media content creator, of an influencer, of a e-commerce store owner. I sorta of have a whole lot going on so I thought I would give you a glimpse into my life and what happens on a daily basis. It is still far too early so let's go get ourselves some coffee. While I enjoy my coffee every morning, I bust out my computer and I check my emails. Here's my invention that I made last week, the Megapod. I'll put a card wherever so you can check out that video. But so I check emails every morning from things I have going on in China. So I am finishing up manufacturing a couple of my unnecessary inventions that are gonna be for sale next week. So I wake up early so that I'm able to send off a few more emails before they head out. We can get a couple extra things done. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my house. I usually start my day here before heading off to the studio that you probably have seen in a bunch more of my videos. This is the first time I looked at the condo before I bought it. And this is five weeks after I moved in. I pretty much redesigned and gutted the whole place. We have my new books arriving. We have my new packaging arriving. I gotta get those shipped, I gotta get them signed. I gotta get stuff ready to go to Urban Outfitters. I have a new invention on the 3D printer. I have some business phone calls. So it should be a pretty fun day. And we are off to the studio. So one of the emails I got was for my Kelly Clarkson episode that I have airing. This past weekend I was in LA and I filmed an episode of the Kelly Clarkson show. I brought a bunch of my inventions, I was there with some celebrities, we tried out some unnecessary inventions, and that segment will be going live December 13th. So I live in Vermont. This is what it already looks like. I'm kind of sick of it already. The one nice thing about living in Vermont though is that traffic is a whole lot less than LA. I could have really used my road rage restrictor this past weekend when I was in LA. They always say how crazy the traffic is there, but it is crazy. Also, luckily my studio is only about a mile and a half from my house, so it's always a quick commute. And we're here. Welcome to the Global World Headquarters. And let's see how that 3D print came out. All right, I think it's looking pretty good. So the one nice thing about 3D printing is that I can just set it up overnight and not think about it and test some new parts. I'm not gonna quite go into what this invention is. I gotta print a few more pieces today. You'll see what happens by the end of the day. Yep. It is doing exactly what I wanted it to. So that new part is already on the 3D printer, so let's go hit the gym. I didn't even realize how camoed out I was today. Let's go. Let's go to the gym, let's go to the gym, let's go to the gym, let's go. I really don't wanna be a weirdo. I'm not gonna bring my camera in there. Maybe I'll film on my phone, but what do you, you don't need to see how I work out. It's whatever. Okay, the next thing we need to do before we head back to the studio is I need to go to a craft store and get a few things for today's invention and a couple other things. So let's head on over to Michael's and we'll get all that stuff that we need for my next Instagram post. So I just picked up a brand new Cricut. So I'm in the Cricut aisle getting a few transfer vinyls. I also need to pick up some t-shirts. The goods have been acquired. Now time to head back to the studio. We have everything that we need. So let's get to work. So now we have that second 3D part that we printed. I will tell you what the invention is now. So it's gonna go on your head and it's gonna have different filters, so it's sort of like Instagram filters in real life. 
You can swipe it down, maybe double them up for different ones. And you have them all up here when you're not using them. So we gotta print a few more. And later, hopefully today, we should be getting the filters. So we're gonna glue those onto the inside and it's gonna be looking gorgeous. But the next order of business that we have is to see all those boxes up top there. I do, this is a big secret. I guess I haven't probably talked about this too much on my channel. I do actually design and sell necessary products. So I gotta do some quick inventory and I gotta get some of those boxes shipped out to Amazon where I sell a lot of my products. And UPS will be here in about two hours to pick them up. So let's get to work. So let's print out these shipping labels. So we gotta get ready for some of the Christmas rush because Black Friday is next weekend. So I actually have done about five different Kickstarters in my life. I've designed some other products that I've put out into the world. Here's a beach chair that I designed one time. But all of these products are different things that I've designed and manufactured that sell online. And so we're gonna package these up and get them out. I know that earlier I said that I was gonna print five of these, but it looks like four is going to be the magic number that fits onto here. So now I just gotta print little bumpers that'll fit in between there so that they all stay equidistant apart so that when we flip them around, stays where we want them to stay. I still don't have a name for this invention yet. Something to do with Instagram in real life, filter, IRL, but we are going to be filtering our life out. So I'm gonna design the parts that we need, toss them over to the 3D printer, and then this thing will almost be complete. We are just waiting on the colored filters that will be coming from UPS when they come pick up those packages that I just put outside. Let's get after it. So here is an overview of what I designed. So this is the part that is going to attach to your head. Then over here we have a cap that attaches here and holds all of the lenses. Here is what holds the lenses as the sort of sunglass looking device and here is the bumper for it all. And then I'm going to be using this spandex strap. This is an old invention that I made and we're gonna attach that to the end of this invention so that it goes on your head. So let's hit the 3D printer. Do you see that people? FedEx is here. That means my shipment of my brand new book 101 Unnecessary Inventions is officially here. So let's go help him unload those boxes. There they are. My books are here. Let's bust one of these open. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time because I actually have not seen the very final, final version of this. And this is going to be my first time seeing my first book in its final printed form. Oh my God. Oh, I love it. Oh, the colors came out so good. Here it is, 101 Unnecessary Inventions the very first book. I'll go throw a link down in the description so you can go order one of these for yourself. This will be launching in Urban Outfitters, so I gotta get an order ready for them. Probably not gonna get those out till tomorrow, but I also already pre-sold a few hundred copies. Oh, I just can't stop looking at it. So I have to, <laughs> back to reality. So I have to get those all packed up and shipped and ready to go. So I'm gonna get that started as well while I wait for UPS to show up to pick up that stuff and deliver the stuff for the invention that I gotta make as well. Oh, it came out so good. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I take that back, I think he's here right now. And now we have my brand new shipping envelopes. These are gonna be good as well. Oh yeah. So when you get your brand new Unnecessary Inventions book, I'm going to hand write in your name right here and it's gonna say, hello, my name is blank and I am addicted to purchasing unnecessary things on the internet. I think that's gonna be really funny to get in the mail. 
Plus, we also got the filters for the invention today. So I'm going to be cutting these up and putting them into the sunglass sections of the invention. And each one is going to be a different color. And that way you will be able to see the world in all sorts of new filters and colors. The day is coming together. It is kind of busy, but things are good. Everything is looking so good. What was I talking about before? The invention. I think the invention is the next thing we tackle. Let's go do that now officially. So I quickly went ahead and I made the first one out of blue. I think it looks pretty good. So basically what I'm gonna do is do all those other colors and then we're gonna mount them to the headpiece and shoot the Instagram photos. However, that is gonna have to wait for a minute because the next thing that I have to do is that I have a possible brand deal in the works. So that's another way that I make money here is I create some of these unnecessary inventions as a influencer, social media content creator for other brands. Uh, I'm not gonna mention what the brand is right now because it's still in the works, but that should be out within two to three weeks. It's gonna be a fun one. So basically a company works with me. I create a brand new unnecessary invention. I work with their marketing team. We do sort of some collaboration and it's, uh, it's fun for everybody. So the call I'm about to have is basically just an update on the whole project, some new thoughts I have and the whole timeline of when it's gonna come out. Okay, that's them now. Hello, this is Matt. Hey Matt, this is- I am doing pretty well, how are you? And as you can tell, the invention is now finished. I have it on my head. I changed my shirt to be something a little more colorful for the photos. And here is what I have set up for my photo shoot for Instagram and everywhere else. Haven't done red in a while. It's all set up, take the photos. And then once they're all complete, I'll go ahead and edit them on my computer. I'm thinking that I'm gonna do some sort of stop motion video of them turning around, but I'll figure that out once I get it all done on here. Okay, here is what I was able to come up with, with the stop motion effect. I think it's pretty much there. There are some nice close-ups. I just gonna have to do a little bit of editing and make it all work. So let's head to the computer and get this edited. So here's what we're working with so far. I think it's looking pretty good. So I need to just keep grinding away, editing these photos so I can get them ready to get posted on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere for this brand new invention. It is already 4.45 in the evening, or afternoon I guess, it's just completely dark out already. Daylight savings, unnecessary invention. Oh, and we haven't even tackled the pre-orders yet for the book. Those are gonna have to get set up and end up being shipped first thing tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the pre-orders that we've got so far. So here we have the pre-order list. There's a few hundred orders in here that I gotta get shipped out. Packed up. This thing does look pretty good. I'm liking how this one came out. Invention sneak peeks coming soon. Where's the box that's open? So yeah, so we gotta get these shipped out and also all of the pre-orders came with a free Unnecessary Inventions membership card. And this thing does absolutely nothing except take up unnecessary space in your wallet. So those gotta go together and get shipped out to all of the early customers. And another thing that I have completely neglected is that I have to edit this video that you're watching right now on top of all that stuff. So I think I'm going to make the executive decision that this invention is going to get posted tomorrow. And my hair is covered in super glue after that. Let us see the world through a filter. Now wouldn't life just be so much better through a blue filter? At this point, I'm just trying to think of what else in my day that I could show you. From the office, I'm basically just gonna be doing boring editing work. You don't really wanna watch that. So I'm just gonna hustle away and finish editing that stuff up. So I think for the most part, I might just call this video right here. Oh, one sec. Yeah, uh-huh. You want them to order the new book? Okay, yeah, I'll tell them. Order the new book. You will not be disappointed, and you can officially get the word that you're addicted to buying unnecessary things on the internet. If I think of something else, I'll throw it in this video, but with that, I will see you next week at the next invention. See ya.